Now, Sydney's Taronga Zoo is launching a conservation project for elephants in Thailand today. It involves around 4,000 animals around the zoo showing solidarity in an effort to help protect the endangered species. Our reporter Kumi Taguchi is there to explain just what's going on. Good morning Kumi, I hope it's not too cold out there for you but a great day it looks like to be at the zoo. It is, Karina. Hi, Michael. Look, it, it is kind of fun here this morning. We've been here since early this morning and some of the animals have been having their footprints put onto canvas. We had a little bit of a wayward penguin a bit earlier. He decided to come and sniff all our toes. But apart from that, it is kind of for a serious matter and that is to be, do with ongoing conservation of these elephants in Thailand that you mentioned. I'm joined now by Cameron Kerr. He's the CEO of Taronga Zoo. Cameron, thank you for your time. Could you explain a little bit more about this project in Thailand? Yeah, sure. Well, look, we're really having a bit of fun this morning just talking about For the Wild. But the project in Thailand is really about we're setting up, in conjunction with Melbourne Zoo and the Thai government, guard towers, ranger towers in Kuriburi National Park. It's one of the largest holdings of wild elephants in Thailand. And these ranger towers are there so that the local rangers can go up in the towers, they can observe the elephants' movements, protect them from poaching and other things, also get a better understanding of their habitats and how that all works. So it's really a link, you know, we've got our elephants here who are domestic elephants from Thailand, you know, some of them off the streets of Thailand. They're their ambassadors for their wild cousins and they'll be doing their footprints this morning, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that footprint campaign. Behind you, we're waiting for the elephants to come out. Animals aren't exactly running to a clock. Logistically, how has it been to, to have these animals put their prints down onto a canvas? Look, it's been quite fun. Interestingly, with elephants, they actually paint and play with paint quite regularly, so not such a big deal for them. But as you saw this morning from Mr Munro, our uh, penguin, he sort of walked out, had a look at it, decided to walk around it and then uh, come back. But uh, no, we're having a lot of fun with it actually and, and getting some really interesting shapes too. So the idea behind it of course is that the animals are ambassadors for their wild cousins and they're making a pledge, they're showing their support for the wild and we're asking all our staff to do the same. So we're getting our staff to put their handprints on because in the end really what it's all about is getting people to look after wildlife. We know that if we really want to share the wildlife in the end it's going to be people that make that choice. And today we're having a bit of fun with footprints and web prints and claw prints and all that sort of thing and a few hand prints. But really we want the community to get involved. So we're kind of hoping that, um, you know, they'll come over to the zoo on Sunday the 1st of July. We're going to have a big area up at the entrance so they don't have to actually come in if they don't want to. But we've got a big plaza up there and they'll see a few animals have made their prints and a few VIPs too. Keith, um, Nicole, Seal have all put their pledge to it and just show their support by putting on their hand print. And then they might like to, if they can't come to the zoo here or up to Dubbo, because we're doing it up at Dubbo as well, uh, they can go online or go to Facebook. Yeah. Let's talk about that idea of a pledge. It really is a, it is a commitment as opposed to uh, just voicing your uh, sort of support for a cause. What, what can people do to fulfil that commitment and that pledge in daily life? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's actually a really good question because at the core of it, everything that we do at Taronga is for the wild. Our research team just got back from the Antarctic last summer. Um, we've had people in Sumatra, you know, our educators, researchers, all that sort of thing. All their work is for the wild. But even the people in the retail shops serving coffee and all that sort of thing. And in our daily lives, if we get the community involved, they can be working towards it too. It's just by choosing the type of fish that you purchase, make sure it's sustainable seafood, check on the type of timber. You know, you don't want to be buying timber that's come from a rainforest near Kuriburi National Park where these elephants are. You know, if they have a bit of extra area outside the park, that's great. So, you know, it's just thinking about things. Maybe get in touch with the local council, see how you can plant a few things in your garden that encourage wildlife. So there's lots of really simple, easy ways. Come to the zoo, learn a bit more about wildlife here. So there's lots of really simple ways that the community can get involved. Yeah. Cameron Kerr, thank you very much. Thanks. Well, Karina and Michael, I don't know if you can see behind me, but the elephants have come out. So the day will continue with all these footprints. We've already seen a quokka. We've also seen an amazing Komodo dragon. So, Michael, yesterday you said I was a little spoilt with the jobs I get. Very spoilt today. Watch out, Kumi. It's coming your way. Watch out. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> don't look around. And that Komodo dragon looked uh, fantastic. It uh, did. Well, it looked actually quite nonplussed to be having its uh, footprint, palm yeah, print. Yeah, it's pretty cool and calm, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
like it does it all the time, really. Yeah. Kumi Taguchi reporting there from Taronga Zoo.